Oh, fried squid balls. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Man, why does my life keep revolving around squids recently? Oh yeah, Splatoon, that's right. God damn, that game is good. Splatoon is like the perfect... Uh, perfect... God damn. Perfect example that even if a game, like has like only a little bit in it it can still be fun as fuck that you don't realize it like when i uh, when i had that weird 17 hour splatoon marathon with the nathans like the other day um all i kept thinking was man this game is so good i want it in and around my penis it's so good and like it wasn't until like the next day or the day after that like a whole bunch of reviews came in saying it's like yeah this is good but like this could be improved this can be improved like it's actually like a very small game and I was like huh I didn't actually realize that when I was playing oh that's because I was having fun god damn Splatoon is such a good game and I love that they're just casually adding more stuff into it hey, it's me. oh yes yeah Sure thing, bro. Beep. I just realized I've been completely neglecting fucking uh, Chie social link. I do that every time I play this because she's like more out of the way than everyone else in this game. It's like the majority of the social links, um, you can just start hanging out with them like on the f uh, on the floor that your classroom's at. Or the one below it. So, like... You could... Yeah, you could just quickly access them whenever you want. But Chie's... Uh, Chie hangs out on the roof of the school. So, like, that's a, a bit further than everyone else. And, like, she's very easy to forget to actually hang out with. I think I've finished this game, like, five, maybe six times. And not once have I maxed out her social link. I got close once, I got to the part where she's like, oh, I want to suck your dick, but, um, never got that, uh, uh, never got it maxed out and had a, like, persona transformed and all that shit. <sighs> yeah, that TV is huge. No, <laughs> 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 Yeah, that one, that could never happen, no. We, we, we could never get sucked into a TV, no. See, I, I love uh, outings like that, which uh, help boost multiple uh, social links, but this game doesn't have many of them, which is a shame. Oh wait, can I hang out with Nanako now that like I've actually started up her social link? Does she actually want to hang out today or wasn't paying attention? Oh no. Nah. There you go, little girl. Yeah, she's fine. Alright. Go study some more. Yay. Yay me. I love studying. It's the best way to spend your time. Man, fuck studying. <laughs> At least I'm getting uh, my knowledge up. That's good. I have no plans today. Oh, right. So, uh, yeah, this is like... Uh, pick one of these places that you've never gone to before. If you pick the station or the grocery department, nothing happens. So you have to go to the shrine. Don't know why they give you that fucking option. But, no, it's just there, I guess. And now we're starting up the weirdest social link in the game. It's, it's, it's a fox. It's a fox that wears an apron. It has, like, no reason to be in the game. 
has no way of um, like connecting to the main character at all. It's just there. Though the fox does like end up being like super useful because um, after you start up the social link, the uh, fox will follow you into the TV for some fucking reason, and he can heal you up for a small fee. By a small fee, I mean quite a fucking lot. But every time you uh, you actually increase the social link, the um, you get more of a discount whenever you need healing. So, yeah, that's a thing. But still, why is it in the game? Couldn't it be like an actual proper character? And the thing that I hate most about uh, this social link is... You can't just like go out and hang out with a fox. Because no, that would be too easy. Uh, each social link is a mission that you have to go out and do. It will be something like uh, helping someone out, uh, someone out with like um, uh, relationship problems, or like someone lost their dog, or some dude's afraid of cats, or some fucking shit, and you have to help him with shit like that, and do that, and level up. And I'd always get to like rank seven, I think it is, like rank seven or eight, and I have to do this one mission, and every time I've played it. It's glitched up on me and won't let me finish it. Both the PS2 version and the Vita version. I have no idea why it doesn't work for me. I think I might be cursed. It's fucking bullshit. And so yeah, the fox is the hermit. Nowhere near as good as the hermit from P3P. Saori was awesome. And I wanted to be a homosexual woman with her. She was pretty. She was very, very pretty. Can I go now, Mr. Fox? Uh, and also, like, increasing the uh, fox's social link, you don't learn anything more about the fox. Which is dumb. Is, is I want to know, like, if they put a fucking fox in there to hang out with, I want to learn more about the fox. Why does it wear the apron? Why does he wear the mask? <laughs> Who is this fox? Why does he wear the apron? Why is he so, like, like covered in scars and shit? It's just answers that we'll never get. Just bullshit. Ooh, another cutscene. The prime suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was... Oh yeah, the uh, robbery that I completely talked over. ...is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was... He was what? He was what? I'm home. Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately sure are... Man, fuck those rookies. Ruined everything. Except for my plans for more social links. Oh, yeah! Nanako. I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Aww. And now Ellie wants to come in. I tried getting her inside fucking... ...before when I started recording, but no, she wouldn't come in. Thanks. Yeah, hey, bitch. You're making me miss my stories. <laughs> What? What are you doing? Well, just gonna stand there? You're just gonna stand there. Oh, presents! Fuck yeah! Yay! That's gonna be weird to edit through. A t-shirt! It's a platypus t-shirt! <laughs> it took me a while to decide what to get you. You like it? What I love is, uh, in the anime, she's actually, like, really weirded out from the present. Like, she just doesn't get it. It's like, why the fuck would Dad get me this ridiculous shirt that I would never wear, ever? 
Yeah, those board shorts are pretty fucking good looking. I'd wear them. If I actually went out to the beach or fucking went out to pools, like public pools or pool parties and shit. I don't know. Used to love the beach until, like, one day I just happened to, um, step on top of a fish while at the beach and just, you know, get its fucking rib cage caught into my feet. That actually happened twice that day. That was weird. So, yeah, after that, I'm like, yeah, I don't really like the beach anymore. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally kill fish. Can't. God damn it. Spoiler alert, here's a fucking social link as well. Like, I wouldn't fucking guess it, but apparently it won't fucking let me uh, start it up yet. More studying. Oh, I love all this studying. It's Friday, Friday. <laughs> Gotta kick Rebecca Black's face. My dad unironically likes that. Damn it, I just fixed this thing. Like, imagine that. A nearly 50 year old man who's so uppity about his music actually likes that fucking shit. When I mean uppity about music, I mean. Incredibly uppity about music. He like um. He won't let us listen to Michael Jackson <laughs> because he hates him so much. Like this is going to sound like really fucked, but um, my dad won't let us listen to anything he considers like faggy music. Wow, that's bigoted. <laughs> Like, he's not that kind of person, but when it comes to music, he, he makes it sound like he's that kind of person. So, like, uh, people he can, uh, musicians he considers faggy, uh, people like Michael Jackson, Prince, Bee Gees. Actually, no, I think he likes the Bee Gees. I can't remember. But, like, yeah, like, groups like that, or mainly, like, 80s pop. And shit. Oh, who wants to hang out? Ah, oh, Yusuke. Alright then. What's up? Doing anything? No, not at all. Hell yeah, I want to hang out with Yusuke. Oh, and Chie as well. I should actually hang out with Chie. Yo. Since, like I said before, I've been completely neglecting her. I am trying to like ro uh, role play as like the biggest pimp in Inaba, so I might as well like try and get all the um, female social links up as quickly as possible. <laughs> uh, why do the holidays have to end so fast? Well, at least they were peaceful. I listened in on the housewife. Yeah, three day holiday. But it doesn't seem like I wouldn't day. consider that a holiday. I heard anything about That's more of like an extended stuff. weekend. Go could have been the last of the victims. Yeah, I doubt this is fucking over. Yeah, like, um, hmm. uh, like I've I've noticed that um, like how holidays work in Australia and America work completely different. Like, um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think like they have one huge holiday that's like three months. That, yeah, that lasts like three months in America while here. I think it's like every two or three, uh, yeah, every two or three months, we have like two weeks off. So like everything's like all nice and neatly and even and shit. Yeah, we have two weeks off except for the Christmas holidays, which is about like a month. Or a month and a half. Oh, it's some shit, I don't know. It's been so long since I've actually been to school, I can't remember this shit anymore. <laughs>